<laughs> Are you able to hit record, Mom, on Canary? Gra Grandma. No, we should record. I can record on I'm your birthday. Got one more question. Throughout the year, greeted. Throughout the years, you've <laughs> always had a special place in our family. That's why on your birthday, it seems only right to remind you of how much you're loved, how much you'll always mean. Grandma, you can never know how many lives you have touched, so just know that it's for that it's for more than you ever think. I would love to capture your life story and share it with generations. You are an amazing mom. Grandma and Gigi, happy 92nd birthday. Love, Shannon. Oh, that's oh, beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh! That was beautiful. What do you mean, oh? Oh, we got another card in there from someone else. Oh. <laughs> just popped in there. I think like someone it. left it on the table, one of her friends or something. We'll do that after. All right. So, when you pull it out. She's been, she been running a, a year ahead. Seriously, how old is What is it? So turn it turn around. around and read it. Everything I know. Turn it around. I want to forget, and some I do. I turn it around. Can you read it? The best things in life are the people we love, the places we have been, and the memories we've made. So basically, Grandma, in there, all of your children and your grandchildren have written a special memory of oh, you. Isn't that wonderful? And so what um, what Peggy and I are doing is uh, I have a really good friend of mine who is a ghost writer. She's going to interview you and write your story, your life story. Oh, for goodness sakes. So, isn't that something? Because you know what? You have a lot of incredible memories, especially when you start opening those and reading them. So, so you don't have to read them all now, but if you want to just pull out a couple and... I got a question for you. Did you enjoy me at the HIC and um, the Nutcracker more than being in that... Um, what he, it wasn't a hotel room, but it was a hut or whatever. Listening to Arthur Lyman. Well, I enjoyed you more. Okay. I was just curious because I know you loved Arthur Lyman. Yeah. Well, just goes not, to show you how much she, she loves you. That's right. Your family is the most important thing. <laughs> okay, so this one's uh -oh, from... Oh, the monster's coming! Are you from Darla Kay? Do you want to read it? We, I think it's easier to read now that it's in black. Okay, Grandma has always told me that the key to happiness is to choose to be happy because no one else can do that for you. She has always been a great listener when I needed to talk. And I always remember her saying, it's a beautiful day in Chicago. <laughs> and, and singing tiny bubbles. <laughs> one experience that Poor grandma I had to experience from my dear loving sister Barbie was that she always loved to tease her like one day to scare the living daylights out of her while walking in the road down the road where we lived in Auburn by throwing a rubber snake <laughs> down her blouse. Uh, let's see. In the tree. In the tree. And have it land on Poor grandma's chest. I thought poor grandma was going to have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> so grandma, how old were you when that happened? Oh, God, let's see. It's been 20, 20 some years. Yeah. It's gotten more, more than 20. Yeah, it's more than 20. Way it's more than like 20. About 30, I would say. Oh, yeah, you're right. Good. I'm, I'm 90. I'm not 30, 80. I'm not so 70. you're about 60. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I was. It was in the 60s. Yes. Yeah. 60, 70, 80, 90. Or was it the 70s? Uh, 70s. Uh, did you put it back in the thing? Almost 60 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Almost 60 years ago. Imagine I can remember something with the awful. Grandma, where's that little thing you took off of it? The little ribbon. I think you 
Good idea. She's the one that did, uh, Aaron. If you look down we here, it's the. Don't worry about it, Grandma. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Really cute. Grandma, don't worry about it. Not you. Grandma, don't worry about it. Okay. That was her 90th, I think we did that one, huh? Okay, so pulling her that book? scrapbook? Yeah. Uh, no, the scrapbook was 80. 80? God, that was like 12 years ago. I know. You want, we got room. Come here. You want to sit on my lap? No, You want to trade places? I'll Morgan, you can get that stool in there. Mom, no, the stool in there. I'm good. You're heavy. Yeah. Yeah. When mom would do the... Who is this? Yeah. When mom would do the hula, most little girls would take ballet lessons. I took hula lessons and learned so many beautiful Hawaiian songs. Is this Debbie? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I knew that. Debbie, Debbie, Here, I'll take it. Debbie could do the, the next one. These it's are a little... Right. I don't know. We have to figure out a new thing. This? Yeah. They don't re-stick or something? Well, we can fix it later or something. You know what you get are those little tiny rubber bands for little girls' hairs. Mm -hmm. Or like the things they brace it in the machine. Yeah. It was just to make it look pretty in there. It sticks. Hey lady, your bra's showing. Don't <laughs> 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 you know, we tell me how my bras are showing out of my shirt. Well, I thought it was a classy bra. Yeah. Amy, this is Amy. I always remember grandmas and more how warm they are. I always knew that we were family when I was with her. The memory that sticks out the most to me was the first time I recall going to the ocean. I'm not sure where it was, but I remember we were in the RV and staying right on the beach. I remember collecting sand dollars and picking up starfish in the, pool, in the tide, pool. tide pool. Where was that, do you remember? That must have been in Hawaii. No, no in an the RV. First time in an RV. RV. That was it's down in, we uh, went. all lived in Hawaii? No. Now, most of that's when we were down, you were probably down in San Francisco or in Lahuna or something like that. You, you, uh, Laguna, not Laguna, but you're probably, uh, you were probably in the motorhome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you were in the motorhome. You were in the motorhome. Right, but you didn't have a motorhome in Hawaii. No. So. Have a in Hawaii? No. You had a Cadillac that you tried to kill me in. <laughs> <laughs> you never got right. it. Was, it was either Stop. your you're fault right or your store. fault because someone got kicked off the bus. That was what. Yeah. And yeah, Hawaii, that, Mom's Cadillac, yeah, remember when it got damaged? That was the one I was going, I went because the kids were, Who got kicked these, the these two were in school, they couldn't get on the bus because they did Doug and Dawn. I didn't know who it was. I knew it was one of them. St. Michael's. You know, get Michael's, to read yeah. and I go to the show. And then I went to pick you up, and then on the, oh, I guess the on the way, no. I, oh. I ran off the road. No, there's a guy in a Volkswagen coming toward yeah, you. Coming he was riding on the wrong side of the road. He's probably oh, now he's coming back from the North Shore. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah. I, she was going to make me go. And I kept saying, I don't want to go where I want to go. And so I stayed, thank God, because that side of the Ooh. car got yeah. demolished. Yeah. And then there were bus that finally came by while I was down in the ditch. <laughs> Andrea, spending time with her at Jenny's wedding was one of my favorite memories from seeing her all dolled up and getting ready with her to sitting at the dinner table talking about family. Oh, that was and sweet. Yeah, that was a sweet one. You know, you know what? There's one also, I don't know if anybody wrote anything about it, but everybody used to love to watch you and Dad dance oh, at all these. Yeah. I wonder who wrote about that. <laughs> <laughs> the mystery continues. <laughs> Dad couldn't think of a memory this morning, but now he's full of them. Barbie, my <laughs> favorite comes. story Grandma shared with me was about when she tied a string to her big toe for her friends. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> what was it? To her friends to pull outside the window to see in case sneak she out would night. fall asleep. Her friends would pull it to wake her up, and they would sneak out for the... For some fun. The best quality about Grandma is that she always 
had time to listen to her grandchildren, and her grandchildren always felt loved by her presence. And that's so and the good news is Barbie didn't follow any footsteps and tie a string around her toe. When Barbie's 92, the story will come out. Oh, there's a lot of stories about well, Barbie, but we would go, was, I would go biking with, uh, I had about six boys in the neighborhood, and we'd get up in the morning, go biking, and we'd bike all down through Rock Creek Park over to where, when Dad got to work, it was late because it was a long ride. And we would go there, he'd give us a little change, and we'd go and pick up a, something at the hot shop or the uh, place there, and then we'd come back. But they would wake me up about 5 o'clock in the morning, they'd pull on that string on my toes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so funny. And I didn't do anything bad compared to that now. <laughs> All right. But we had more fun. We threw the bikes. Well, Grandma over. thought all of her kids were angels. I know exactly. <laughs> we found out where they got the uh, the little devilish in them from. Doug, my mom was always good to me, and she made sure I always had good food to eat. <laughs> he was the star of you when he was younger, or something. He said he always had good food. Or you guys have you guys have got to see this TV show called The Kids Are All Right. It's about these seven brothers, and it's the same thing. They all come to the table and they're like vultures, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doug it. used to eat sugar. Oh, my no, God. All right, we're going to finish reading. I remember going out to dinner, going to the officers' club, and eating steaks and lobsters. <laughs> she was a good cook, especially when they... Especially when she, she made goop. <laughs> <laughs> when she made goop. I have all the memories on the ranch at, on Indian Springs. I think she let us have like five dogs. <laughs> 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 Even the goats thought they were dogs. I know. Remember <laughs> that one goat that got on your Corvette? Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, it was on the uh, Dodge Challenge. Dog, yeah. No, it was the other one. No the little mini one, the blue one. Oh, that was a Corvair. Corvair, that's what it was, Corvair. Oh. I love those goats. They'd beat us down at the, the bus stop like uh, they were dogs. Goats are good pets. Do you well, that, I, taste better I love dogs. the stories that Grandma and Aunt Catherine would tell me about growing up together and how they were, you were more like sisters than aunt, aunt and niece. I always loved hearing that. My eighth grade solo, long, long ago, was Muddy's favorite song, LaDonna. Um, oh, LaDonna? Yeah. No. Yeah, LaDonna. Yeah, it was LaDonna. That's LaDonna. What was Muddy's favorite song? Long, did, long ago. Long, long, long ago. ago. I didn't know that. Long, I just learned something long new again. Ago. She used to sing that. Right? Here. Who knew that? Who knew that? Who knew that? I didn't Morgan, tell Throw that. LaDonna. No, but how did LaDonna know that? Grandma told LaDonna oh, at her, okay. at her eighth grade um, performance. Time she did a choir good. performance. Who sings it? I don't know, darling, who sings that? Who sings it's an old song. song. I know it is. Oh, it's have it go. Long, long ago, long, long ago. Long, long ago. And don't forget, it was long ago. <laughs> you can't remember, Muddy's era was a long, long ago. Long, long ago. Long, long ago. That was You're good at this. <laughs> That's a very easy lyric. I think we need to call LaDonna and ask her to sing it. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. Lindsay, my favorite story from Grandma was when she tells me all the time she would sing with her kids and grandkids. She says, songs cure the heart. Whether riding in a car, sitting around the house, or fixing an argument. Sing a song. My favorite song she sings is Melikaliki Maka. <laughs> My kids never fought. They just sat around and sang songs. <laughs> you swear, you swear that none of y'all did anything wrong. You just sang a song. <laughs> well, 
When you get your kids singing songs, she, she thinks she was sounding. She thinks she was sounding music. You guys were sounding. We were the Von Trot family. We were the Von Trot family. The seven kids. Well, you know, we, we went all, in the, even in Alaska, we would ride around that little Volkswagen. Remember how we sang songs oh all the way down? We just sang songs. Yes. <laughs> nobody nobody put their arm on the wrong spot. Oh, nobody oh, hit each other. But I vaguely remember Ron See? throwing a hammer across the garage. <laughs> <laughs> and I got even got him with a shovel. But we never did that. <laughs> See, you sang when you did it. I don't who got as long who? as you were singing a song while you did it, it didn't matter. <laughs> who, who got who with the nail in the... And the piece of wood. This is Jenny. That was Darla Kate. This is Jenny. No, but she said Ron. Oh, Ron. Yeah. Ron did that this is yeah. Jenny. Jenny. She always woke us up with the saying, Rise and shine. shine. It's a beautiful <laughs> day in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> she always played wonderful Christmas music from the oldies. Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. Her spaghetti is always my favorite, and she made everyone feel so warm in love with her hugs. I love how she always bossed my mom and Peg Boss around. My mom. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel good that everyone has a mom to answer to. Who's that? Peggy, Jim. 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 All right, do that something. I'll say, oh, your mom's on the phone. The circle of life. Don't. <laughs> so mom's watching us. Come on. Uh, that was the cutest idea. It really is. is. This is dark. This is really. I'm trying to figure out how you where, guys where, are doing. Where'd you hear to do this? I know that is just. It was great. I mean, really so Lindsay hard. helped me put it together this morning. Yeah, was it Pinterest? And last night. Yeah. But I mean, where'd you come up? Pinterest. With, where'd you come up with the idea? I mean, that's just. Oh, I just came up with the idea. You did yourself really? Yeah, this is belly. <laughs> now everybody so many favorite, story, favorite stories are the ones my dad would tell of his life in the military brat. Seven kids grandma had and the privileges she had as a lieutenant colonel's wife. Grandma living in Hawaii and Japan, all time favorite memories is singing the bubbles of Melik Miki Maka. <laughs> Bubbles. Tiny <laughs> Bubbles and Melik Miki Maka. Who's that one from? Billy. 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 Icky ticky tumbo and oh, no so rimbo. I be got icky ticky tumbo. Icky ticky tumbo. <laughs> <laughs> There's a book. I have that book still. Rumble steel skin over and over at bedtime. My favorite story she told me was when she was a young girl and her and the boys would sneak out at nighttime and throw Boy. their bikes over the fences <laughs> and <the road. laughs> Well, I don't know how all us girls became so good. We should have been little rats out there running around with our bikes going over the fence. Yeah, we put it over she the was zoo. on you. The That's... zoo was right near the house, not too far. Which from. zoo? In Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. Zoo? That was, that was a really nice zoo. And you too. know the thing about it is, well, we would go and go, there we had a fjord where the water goes over the road, you know. And we'd go down to the fjord and ride our bikes across the fjord. And nobody ever bothered us. I mean, you know, you hear of all these, like, you throw that away? No. That's no, they're in a the box. I'm putting them in a box so I can mom. re-wrap them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I, we just had to this, this is the 92-year-old <laughs> coming out and saying, nobody's talked bad about me yet, and you're throwing my stuff away. <laughs> <laughs> it was just done. I remember Mom being so proud of me. 
and my debut in the Nutcracker at, in Hawaii. That's for sure. That's really for was. sure. <laughs> I really hey, was. I was a reindeer in that Nutcracker, too. Yeah, you were. And I hated Dad, that thing. You and Dad had were reindeer. makeup all over our face. I had scratchers. Come over here. We got to fix it. I had scratchers. Lots of bitches. I joined it because I got to see naked girls. Impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, I remember was, I remember was my first day of kindergarten and my first day ever riding on the school bus. The bus driver was asking me where I lived and I had no idea. When the bus driver asked me my name, he said, I know where you live and drove me to grandma's house. No. <laughs> the bus driver said, I know where all the Sipman children live. I was nervous, but when I saw it was grandma's house, and she was outside. I knew everything was fine. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, sweet. That's sweet. <laughs> because you're losing the weight as you sit there. Your weight's just falling. All your off secrets you. are coming out. And you're, you're, <laughs> you're letting go. Yeah. Just, just slip it off. <laughs> oh, she dropped them. Lindy, why don't you take those and put them on top of the box or something? Are you probably in there too? Yeah, yeah. I've been putting some in there. Mm -hmm. Is it stick? Is that what I hear? Is it stick? No, I just had tape on it. Shannon! <laughs> the story of Grandma's first love has always made me curious about her as a young woman. Grandma's first love. Who was your first love? My first love was Billy McCullough. <laughs> that was Aunt Catherine's husband. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, that was Bob McCullough. <laughs> no. Oh, we got That's a scandal right. here. Oh. That was the brother. Oh. 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 Brothers one time. Really? That was really interesting. See? And, and then she then that. she married yeah, Bill. Right. And then she married a Bill. No. And I married a Bill. Yeah. A Bill? Yes. Yeah. Bill Duck. Oh. I Bill Duck. Oh, Catherine. Bill seven too. They both married a Bill. Well, they all married Colonel and when well, they weren't colonels when they got married, they're all colonels in the Air Force. Right. Oh. Three women. Bill, the stories of the Minahoonies as we drove over the Pally Lookout. Have struck me with, with made an impression as a young boy. I will never forget catching my Stop. mother and dad skinny, <laughs> skinny, skinny uh, dipping in the, in the neighbor's pool. Was that the yeah. in the neighbor's pool? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. And I got that on tape. We went over there. Mom and dad were pointing the house to us. <laughs> What were the men who were with the It was dark. It was dark. It was dark. I wanted to see what it was. The Christian lady. What were the mini hoonas? The little people. Yeah, the little people. Mini hoonies were the little, they were like little warriors that were really. Mini hoonies. They, 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 they loved pork. And they didn't get the whole story straight. Remember, if you traveled over the pally. No, and Grandma don't, should don't tell don't about Grandma it. should tell about the Menahuni. She probably remember it. Let's finish. Menahuni. Any, anyways. Many. The, you know, the Lions had many legends, and it was great. Yeah. A friend had told me about this. So this is one, one day we were going. Let Come me finish, Mom. One day we were, or one night we were going over, and he said, "Don't go in the dark, because if you go in the dark, the Menahuni will smell the pork, whether it's bacon or pork chops or whatever. Ah. Your car will have some kind of." accident or so and they i don't know if you guys remember the old pally road yeah it was barely wide enough we had a little hillman i think and then also uh, the we had the pack or we had the packer but which we had to hold on to the top yeah because it was so windy you could blow the top right. the wind, the, the winds, the, no seriously the winds were just horrific yeah they were. <coughs> so anyways we got to about two-thirds way over the thing and either dad turned off the key in the car oh my god 
the story's true. The <laughs> Ben and Hoonies are coming. I forgot I put the bacon in this car to say the other car. And I'm just going. <laughs> you know what? Oh, I was. I never heard of that. That was been before I was born. Yeah. Oh, never I, heard of the it, it, it was our first yeah, tour. He's almost got him. It was the first tour we had. Over there. Like I oh, think he oh, got him, but he never knew it. But I was, I, I was waiting for those. Listen, what Tommy on. wrote. What do you think? When she would come home from school, she could smell the sweet potatoes from a block away, and she knew she she was, was in. in for a treat. <laughs> yeah, but you know why that was because yeah, that was who? Tommy. Tommy, Tommy said yeah. <coughs> yeah. Coming from a shelf. Yeah. That's, That's the truth. <laughs> See, your yams made an, your sweet potatoes make an impression on Well, no, no. He was saying that when she would walk home from school, he told her. Oh, she you when you were young. She could smell him from a block away, and she knew she was in for a treat when she got home. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I love. See, the, both Doug and Tommy is about food. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell the story all the way, okay? Yeah. Grandma's, you know, she's sort of forgetting it already. What it was, Mama, and Mama could tell great stories. Yeah. Oh, she, yeah. She could cut a piece, cut a watermelon up, and you could sit there all day long. just listen. They told about how they treated their slaves and how they, the slaves loved them, and they loved their slaves. And yeah. they were oftentimes sitting down at the same table and have dinner and have a barbecue or whatever it was. <coughs> well, in those days, they, all they had was an outhouse. And then during the night, the girls didn't want to go out to the outhouse, so they'd have bed pans. Mm -hmm. Well, Mama would always forget to bring her pet pan, bed pan back in, because they'd take it out the next day, wash it out, and bring it back in, put it into the bed, and then And so Mama would wake up in the night, and she'd go hold it, and go, I gotta go, seriously, I gotta go find it. Where's your, where's your bed pan? Well, that was hanging on the outhouse. You gotta go get it, Mama. Goes, I'm not going out there in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> so her mammy would make her go her out there. Mammy would make her. <laughs> Jeannie, how much Grandma loves playing cards. I enjoyed playing with her so much. I also had so much fun as a child playing with all her jewelry and wondered where did her treasures come from. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. As a young girl, you always would. I would go in mom's jewelry boxes and uh, always look at that and say, oh, man. I remember one of the yeah. first things I bought. She always had the clip-on ear, so you didn't have to worry about yeah. the being pierced, so you could put all the earrings on. Yeah, yeah. I don't have fun with them. Yeah. I remember my first time I got to buy a, a piece of jewelry. We were down um, uh, San Carlos, and somebody, some church was having a little you know, yard sale, and they had one of those the slave rings. You know, it was a ring that came up and attached up here to a bracelet on your arm. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Well, you know, when, when Debbie was a little girl, she, she was told she could not have her ears pierced by Debbie until she was 13. When Jenny was a little girl. When Jenny was yeah. a little girl, she couldn't have her ears pierced. So one day we went to the store, uh, Macy's I think it was, and the girls went in there, and then here comes Debbie out with these it looks like pierced ears. You Jenny. Know? Jenny. Jenny, yeah, Jenny. And she was so angry with, with this one. Right? Jenny goes running up to Debbie. Mom, look, Aunt Peggy okay. got my ears pierced. <laughs> Debbie said, what? Because I just got Lindsay's ear pierced, so we couldn't do Jenny's. So I got the magnet ones. Oh. Debbie was not ready to Yeah, she's a little, little more than that. like, no, they're just magnets. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know what they it's probably a good thing you did. Debbie probably would have blown the court. Oh, oh you should have seen her. She was not happy. Oh, she was not happy. Yeah, my mom got married when I did my mom. I was 16. Peggy, mom telling me about her going to Alderman yeah. Park. Yeah, that was so 
Yeah, you guys used to go up to get your little candies. Yeah, that's right. Which I guess it was, is that the, the, I'm wondering, is that the Roman can, the Roman candy that was like a, a long stick and it was taffy? Oh, yeah, we used to get it. <coughs> like a little horse-drawn trailer yeah. thing? Because they still have that little thing at the zoo, and I always think of you every time I see yeah. that little thing. You have to bring her back one. <clears throat> I know. Mm-hmm. How like many I are there my more? granddaughter to get one. Yeah, we like two more. You getting bored? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's getting bored? I was joking. <laughs> he asked me about one thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I said, it was about going yeah, to the Is that coming up? Yeah. Okay, I'll be glad. <laughs> what is he talking about? Sorry. <laughs> You've been keeping me nice as you know. Let me answer it. She has always Who is this? Been, ab- Ron, been about family and getting together. Getting together with her and dad at Bellows on Oahu. We had wonderful times getting up early in the morning looking for the glass walls that had come unattached from the fishing nets and come all the way across the ocean from Japan. Having a meal together, sitting around the table and talking about the day we had together. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was cute, too. Yeah. I see, we all loved Hawaii. Yeah, those those balls, you know, they don't have them anymore. I know. Because they don't put them on the fish. Well, they don't don't fish with those. I got to three of them more. You want to open them up? Yeah. Oh, you have ice That's what I love about Alexa. You just say, Alexa, play this, and she does. That is right, the best so thing this one is, is um, best thing about Big Genie. It's something that she always thought that mom and dad looked so beautiful dancing at the officer's club. They were Fred and Ginger. That's right. <laughs> you wrote that for Genie. We all Jeannie. thought yeah. that. He wrote no. that for, yeah, <coughs> Uncle Bill wrote that for Genie. And he also shared how much you and Jeannie used to love swimming together. Yeah. yeah. Kelly, Grandma singing Rise and Shine. Oh, remember that. The Rise and Shine, and it's a beautiful day in Chicago. <laughs> and I don't think you ever lived in Chicago. <laughs> Did you live in Chicago ever? My dad started no. that. <laughs> This is Morgan. Hearing about how she was one of the first women to go to college in her in school. her school. No, I didn't go. Uh, <laughs> no. I mean, uh, I wasn't. I don't know what that is. But anyway, my Mama went to college. Did so you go to college? About in your class in school? Oh, in my class. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it's funny, isn't it a bit about college and education? She's mentioning all these little things that we yeah, all sort of attach to, you know? Stuff with them I love animals, so mine was about a zoo. Don yeah. dug in them the food. food. <laughs> well, that was very, that was a a quite a joy. That was. Okay, I'm going to uh, go have you, a cigarette. Did you okay. enjoy that, Grandma? I really did, I tell you, that was so So do you think nice. you have, uh, you think you can fill up a book of all your stories oh. of... From the time you were born until 92 years later? Oh, I tell you, she could fill up a book. I can't wait to hear all the extra secrets that come out. <laughs> I know you gotta, you, are you gonna give it, just be truthful and give it a, oh, yeah. all of it? Oh, yeah. Not say your children oh, just were angels? I get to start oh. asking questions. <laughs> yeah, 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 like all I do was sing songs. I'm, uh, I'm, well, the, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the oldest, I'm you the oldest know, alive now. Who, who, put, who put Debbie's head in, in, a, in a beehive or something? Oh my God! What? Or someone flushed one of your dolls down the toilet, or you and Debbie are. What does the toilet dolls? have to do with beehives? Well, I, I flushed my mouse down the toilet after he died. Um, I didn't have a. Debbie doll. told me that you you, you took her baby doll kept throwing and she a cat back into a deep puddle. You know what I'd have? I have to turn this off now. Oh, I would. Like, well, like, Grandma, angel. I'm excited for you for your book. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna have someone. I'm going to introduce you to someone in the next two days that's going to start um, helping you write your story, okay? Okay. You know, I have that big book that Shannon, I, Shannon, you're the one that did that big book for me. Dad. Yep. Yeah. Show that to everybody. We know. We saw it. We did I it. Saw it. Well, we, we haven't <laughs> seen it for years. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll pull it out and look at it today, okay? okay? Um. 